Hi guys, my name is Lori B. Milado, Great of Santos, and welcome to my vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you guys! In this video, we are going to talk about what is my family main source and how we spend it for our needs. Since the pandemic, we have all been affected by the COVID-19 disease, so many people have been looking for work to earn a living. My family decided to build a small sari sari store so that my family could somehow earn something during these times of pandemic. But it was not enough to solve our daily expenses. I thought I wanted to work because my goal was to help my family in these times of pandemic. I told myself I would look for a job at fast foods near here with us. One of the things uh, one of the things I thought about applying was Friendship Jollibee and I immediately submitted my resume. After a few days, someone texted me that I had an interview and fortunately, they gave me the opportunity to work at Jollibee. I have already achieved my goal to help my family with daily expenses. Now I am working and earning every month. I will show you a template so you know where my salary goes this month of June. I received my salary on June 10 of 8450 per month. And the first I paid was our water bill of 430 And June 11, I went to the JG store to buy groceries and the money I spent was 1200 and for our transportations is 150 pesos only. John 12, a shopee came and I paid 400 pesos for my jacket and t-shirt. John 13, I had another shopee and I paid 550 for my shoes. John 14, I went to the Pampang, Pampang market to buy uh, 25 kilograms of rice it's only 970 pesos and for our transportations is 100 pesos only so the total of our cost of goods sold groceries groceries and meats is 2170 only and for our utilities electric fan water and internet is 430 and for for our other other load clothing is 950 and for our transportation cost is 250 so the total of our cost out is 3800 and for our total of cash in and cash out is 4650 due to this pandemic we face various challenges today in our country and even in our community due to COVID-19 disease which until now continues to spread. There is a lockdown in various parts of the Philippines and it has been a big challenge for us because we know that it is forbidden to go out. What can we do to overcome this challenge in our life? Others are looking for ways to, to make a living such as selling clothes online and so on to survive. For our students and teachers, this is also a big challenge because the implementations of face-to-face -face classes is prohibited in this time of pandemic. What should be done so as not to affect the learning of students? DeepEd implements online learning and this is what we call modular and online class. But it is related to the use of different technologies such as um, smartphone, TV, a radio, while others are used by different social media platforms like 
Facebook, a YouTube, a Zoom apps, and also airs it on free TV and radio, radio so that teachers can convey to their students uh, the importance of uh, education for students, even in the midst of crisis. But there are many students who cannot afford to spend on gadget due to poverty and loss of jobs to their parents. Our governments implemented the provisions of gadget for, for, for public school to continue the education. Well, provide education for students even in our difficult learning situations. We need to help each other to overcome this challenge for all of us. Nowadays, we need to take care of our health and how can we manage our time by doing various activities that can help us such as exercising, cleaning the house, and planting vegetables. Exercise is important because it helps keep a person's uh, heart and lungs active and working properly and deliver oxygen throughout the body faster and more efficiently having enough oxygen throughout the body can mean of bodily vitality it is also important to follow the FITT stand for frequency intensity time and type to make a workout plan so that you know what kinds of exercise you can do and how much time you need to spend exercising, etc. It is also important to eat healthy foods as we exercise every day so that we can maintain our health so that our immune system is strong and so that we do not just get sick. If we go out of the house, we need to bring sanitizer, wear a face mask, and wear a face shield. If you use a non-washable face mask, you will need to throw it away immediately when you get home. And if you use a washable face mask, you need it washed immediately so that you can use something when you need to buy something so that we can avoid COVID-19 disease. We need to follow the protocols implemented by our government so that we can be safe and so that COVID-19 disease does not uh, spread further in our country. Before I end this video, I want to share with you what are the reflections that really impressed me in this blog I made. First of all, I learned as an independent person because I myself thought that I would work to help my family because my family income is very low so that we have more daily expenses. We need to value our health in this time of pandemic and we need to do those things that will help us. We need also to follow the protocols implemented by our government so that COVID-19 does not spread. We are only fighting in life because we know that we can overcome all these challenges in our lives with faith in God. Prayer is the way for us to be strong, courageous in the face of this pandemic. And I know that God will not forsake us because God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Caught in the crossfire